You've been through a number of these beams and the placement of the collins and the ledges. So if it's boring, you know exactly what to do. Um, you can skip this entire video. It's simply for the purpose of completeness that I'm going through all these processes, but very much what has been covered before is going to be covered again until the last two beams. Following on on my um, past history of, of um, making parts, you will see that what I would do is whatever the last part I made, I would use that as a reference to make the next part, knowing that there would be a slight adjustment. And so when it came to the knees, that's what I did. And I hadn't didn't realize that it is at this point in the model that the boat takes the hull takes quite a, a change inside. And so the hanging knees that I made up, which follow the, the hull of the boat, um, well, was a disaster. <laughs> and I had to really make up a, a, temp, a total template. And this is, I'm not sure if you can see this, this is the change um, in, in the shape, the top being flat. And that's quite a significant change on the side. And so that's where we are. We've made up two new hanging knees and we're going to install those now. What I've found as I make up the lodging knees and the hanging knees is there's less and less need to use the paper templates. Um, you can really just use the skill that you've learned, look at the lodging knee as it's laid out in the plan and make sure when you put it on the model that it reflects that design. Each of these would have been unique and different and you'll find that on your boat um, it will vary just the nature of the way you've built the boat as compared to the way Greg or David built theirs. Every now and again you screw up and that's the great thing about using PVA glue um, is that if you need to reverse something you've stuck, um, some 100%, in this case a 90% rubbing alcohol will in fact soften the glue and allow you to take the piece out.
as you move further back, um, the lodging knees take quite a bend because again, the back of the boat is coming in and the curve um, of the ribs are also coming in to meet at the stern. So you'll see that there's quite a difference in, in, in the curve. So you have to actually make them a little fatter to get them to fit. Now we've reached where we're going to put in the last two beams which hold the mizzen part now. And uh, to do this, we've made up, we had done this before, there's a temporary mass. The, the collins are supposed to be recessed from the bottom up which we hadn't done on the first two. So we're gonna do that as a unit, stick this in place. And when we've got everything, when we've got everything correct, we'll, um, we'll stick it in as a unit. I left the supports in, um, just as you know, to keep this in as a solid piece and to make sure it didn't move. Um, now we can put in the lodging knees, um, the collins and the ledges, and it should be fine. Um, this is the temporary mizzen. Um, so we're nearly at the end.
This brings us to the end of the framing of the lower deck. I'm not sure Greg and David will agree with everything I'm about to say, but um, certainly if we look at the inside of the framing, um, I spend a lot of time going through the book and taking absolute measurements. And there's no question that if you look inside the model, that the location of the various um, hatches and where the mass goes, um, these are all very important. Um, what is not important is the exact location of the collins and the ledges. These are really supports um, that hold the deck up and give it some structural strength. So that when you look here and you see this point here where clearly I'm following a measurement of the plan, um, that was much too close to the side and should have been pulled in a bit. And up at the bow here, the placement of this particular Colin should have been further closer to the side of the boat so we get a nice clean line. Um, so again the workmanship and the visual appearance of how um, some of these support pieces fit are perhaps more important than following the plan as defined in the book. The other thing I found was that the sleepers and the wing transom knees at the back here um, I don't know why I decided not to put them in at the time, but certainly I plan to put them in now. Um, there's, there's no issue for putting them in at this point in time, and the model would be incomplete if I didn't put these, I think, significant parts of the, of the framing in place. To get the pieces to fit, um, we've been working a lot with mahogany recently, it's a nice soft wood. And I used that to make up the template. And then from that, we made up the two little pieces. And so we've pre-drilled them. We're going to stick them in. Another milestone completed um, with the completion of the sleepers and uh, the wing transom knees. That brings us to the end of the build for the lower deck. Um, still some cleanup to do um, in putting some of the collins down on the ledges. You may find there's a slight variance, so we need to clean that up. But i um, so glad that this has finally been completed and um, pretty happy with the end result. So we're going to see you in the next video when we start the planking. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to plank the entire deck. Um, knowing me I will, um, but we'll see you in the next video.